Hello, my name is Joshua Mugabe. I welcome you to Vegetative Reproduction in Uranus, Desmodia, and Axonopus. In some plants, the stem grows horizontally over the surface of the ground. For example, Desmodium triflorum. So here we are looking at our Desmodium. This is our Desmodium plant, and it is a runner. Runners, for them, they grow horizontally, but they grow on the surface of the ground. Uh, the stems will grow on the surface of the ground. At the node of the horizontal stem, adventitious roots develop, and lateral buds also grow into elio shoots, so that new plants are formed a short way from the parent. So let us look here and see. When you look here, you are going to see that here we have a parent plant with adventitious roots. Now here we have adventitious roots which are developing here and then the lateral buds they develop and grow into the alio shoot. Now the new plant is going to grow, the new plant is going to grow short away from the parent like this one is a new plant. We have our new plant here growing a short distance away from the parent plant. Now, you will gonna see after some times, another plant will again grow a short distance away from another parent plant. So the horizontal step goes on moving away from the parent. And as it goes on, at every node we shall have the lateral buds, which will grow aerial shoots and then also adventitious roots. The process gives rise to cells of plants linked by a horizontal stem called a runner. Now, this whole process of growing, the runner growing from one parent plant going on like that, it goes on forming the internodes. So here we had a plant. Now, after some time, it moved and it formed another node here. And at the node, we developed a bud, which developed a, a earlier shoot and then adventitious root. Then afterwards, a runner developed, and then at the node here, it developed another plant like that, like that. So this is the horizontal stem, or what we call the runner. And here we have the terminal bud. The terminal bud makes the vertical shoot. So after the terminal bud has done like this, it will make a vertical shoot, and then it goes up. Now the lateral bud continues horizontal growth. Here we shall have the growth continuing horizontally. Runners of certain grasses, for example, axonopus compressors, enables them to colonize bare soil quickly and so create lawns. So here we have our axonopus compressors. This one can colonize the area very fast because of the presence of the runners. These runners, they can move very fast and colonize new area. But every internode, you will see that we have a bud which is developing upwards, a shoot upwards and then we have the adventitious roots. 
So here we shall have a bird which will bend upwards and makes a shoot and then down we shall have adventitious fruits. So it goes on like that, jumping a distance from the previous parent. And that one is going to cause a high and quickly colonization of the area to create a lawn. The runners does do not store food but conduct seed to from the parent plant to the daughters until they are well developed until they are well developed so this runner the runner itself does not store the food but it passes it over to the daughters and when the daughters are well developed, then it will go and pass it on to another bird. So that's how they move. The runner does not store the food, but it conducts it from the parent to the daughters until when they are well developed. Hello. Thank you very much for participating in vegetative reproduction in runners, desmodium, and the axonopas.